welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda, and today I'm out in my garden, and I am about to tackle a few projects that I need to get done. The first one is to get these citronella plants, these starts that I started from seed. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get them uh, potted up, up potted, because they've just been staying this size, and it's because they're in these little tiny so I'm going to go ahead and get them into some uh, larger uh, containers. And these are the ones that I'm going to be using. These and a couple of these. And so let's get started. I have my uh, Stay Green potting mix that I'm going to be using today. And I purchased this from Lowe's. And um, it already has uh, fertilizer in it. So I will let you all see what it's looking like. It is a huge bag. So I'm just gonna turn this around so that y'all can see it. Now Lord, this is the potting mix that I'm gonna be using. I have been catching this on a good sale at Lowe's, so I have been using it and it seems to be working pretty good. Okay, so we're simply going to take out some potting mix after I get this big bag open. This is a two and a half cubic foot. I'm gonna go ahead and fill my containers with some the potting soil. And I have um, let's see, I got two, four, six. 8, 10, 11. And I think I'm going to have to get some more of my pot. I don't think I have 11 of these little containers. I'm going to kind of overfill these a little. Okay, that is six, seven. Looks like I'm gonna need one more because I have 10 pots and I need 11. Okay, so I have my, um, some knives out here that I'm going to be using. I was watching Beauty in the Garden and she used her uh, forks or spoons to uh, use them as labels. And she just put some foil or something on it. I am gonna use these as labels also. These are uh, knives because we don't use the knives in our plastic, um, where very much we always end up with a lot of knives left over and so i'm going to be using my knives that i had left over i was like that's a good idea i could use those and then i all i have to do is just take my permanent marker which is a uh i use the garden the garden marker and i can write on it and these are citronella so I can write citronella on there. I can I can turn it whichever way I want to turn it. Citronella. And that's not gonna come off. I don't, you know, I'm not gonna do anything extra to it. I'll just use it like this and 
stick it in there and that'll be a good mark because if you all been seeing lately i have been having a labeling issue <laughs> mainly i have not been labeling a lot and i'm uh second guessing trying to figure out what this is and all that trying to figure out ways of, of distinguishing which plant is which plant by the leaves and all that one all i have to do is simply uh just remember to go ahead and make my label and this is you know it, it looks fine like that so i will be using my knife to label some things but right now i'm going to use this knife to help me to dig out this plant i'm gonna go ahead and stick my knife in there and help me get this plant out let me show you all my roots on there so these are citronella and this is going to hopefully help to control the mosquito population around here. This big pot, this big bag's trying to fall over. And see, that's that's in there. And I can add a little more soil if I need to. Just to kind of give it, you know, more security to it. Okay, so now that's just ready to be watered in. Okay, so we're just gonna sit it right there. It's looking like it's going to rain. We've been getting some nice showers lately. Eliminating the need to uh, water my plants. That's always good. And it's raining right now, y'all. It's, it's, it just started. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the rest of these potted in. come back out because I left my soil in this wheelbarrow and with it raining like this I don't want the wheelbarrow to fill with water and then toss this soil on the ground so I'm gonna have to take that out okay I went ahead and I got them all potted up it has stopped raining I did not finish making my labels and I only got 10 3 6 9 10 because I ended up with two and one or really i think that may even be three and one so for right now i'm just gonna leave that like that since the rain is what caused me to go ahead and because i was gonna break those up but uh i got some watermelon out here that i'm gonna take to the chickens but before i do that i'm going to remove the seeds because i'm saving the seeds and i give them the the melon so that they can enjoy that little snack. I don't know what that is that in there, but I will pour that off and I will save my seeds and I will give them this rind. Everything got watered really good, so there's no need to have to water anything today. I did not bring my shovel out here though. 
here are some of the stakes that I will be using to take over there on the east side and put into the five gallon buckets to stake up my tomatoes. I really would like to cut these in half, but it seems like all the saws and stuff around here have something, one thing or another is wrong with them. So that is that dilemma. So I, I do have a hand saw, but like I told you all, those things have a lot of splinters in them. And I just don't feel like doing no hand sawing today. My arm is kind of sore from whatever. I don't know what my arm is sore from. I think from uh, either the uh, continuous uh, baking on the irrigation part or I don't know because I do a lot of stuff. So I can't say. I can't pinpoint where the soreness and stiffness in my arm is coming from. But I came over to this area without my shovel to give these chickens this watermelon rind. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. See if I can put it in here without hitting anyone because they always try to get to it too fast. Oh my goodness. And then it turned wrong side up. So now I'm going to have to go in there because they cannot turn the rind over. They never do. Then we got some over there that's just sitting. They're not even interested in watermelon rind. They just perched up on top of the door of the chicken house. See a lot of perching going on. Oh, they're standing up. Those chickens have gotten huge. Even the chickens that were, are supposed to be the small chickens. These are supposed to be some kind of rare breeds of chickens. That's what it had on the container that they were in when I purchased them, those small ones. Now, that little one in the middle, that's the one we call Tiny. Look how cute he is, or she is. She is too cute. I keep calling the heat because I told you I thought he was doing some, or she was doing some uh, crowing, but I think just practicing for when she gets ready to lay some eggs, but we'll keep an eye on her. But her, that cone on top of her head is always up. And I don't know, that doesn't matter either because the cone on these hens is always up. So y'all, I just be trying to learn about these chickens. And Now look at those uh, black and white ones. They don't even have any cones on top of their head. They look a whole lot different. But that is the one that I was talking about has gotten so big. That chicken has gotten so big. Okay, since I'm in the area, I'm going to go ahead and get some tomatoes while I'm out here. I'm always out here trying to get me enough of these red chili peppers to make my hot sauce. Still haven't gotten enough. I, I want my hot sauce to be red, so I am collecting my red peppers from hot sauce. I'm getting close. These cabbages are heading up nicely. This one's not that big, but I think I want to take it out and I want to add it to my salad today. I'll just get this little tiny one right here. So, I think I'll just go ahead and do that. It is not that big at all, but it don't always have to be so big. I just, I need something for my salad. I think I may be able to just do it like this. And this way I can also check to make sure that there are no bugs in here. No worms or anything. Yay, this is gonna be delicious in my salad. And I know I could leave these eggplants on till they got larger, but I just like mine small and I don't wanna give anything a chance to come and eat on it. Something's been over here eating on my peppers. 
So let me see if I can find the culprit. It was on this pepper plant right here. I don't see anything. And there is a tomato that is down here that has grown and fell over and I had never noticed it. And it is about to be causing some problems in this bed cause it's all crooked over like that. Let me see there. The root is way over here, and the plant is way over here. So I am going to have to attend to this one. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this very quick. I am gonna put my gloves on, and I am gonna take my pruners out, and I am going to prune this tomato plant. And start at the base of it. I told you I found the, the roots of the plant and I'm gonna start here at this base. And I am going to remove all of these suckers. And that kind of took care of it right there, getting that big sucker out of the way. But you, you can see that this plant was starting to um, make more root in the soil because it was laid all over. So I'm just gonna remove those because I'm going to stand it up the best that I can. I'm still removing these suckers, trying not to break this plant, but I am not going to uh, try to straighten it up completely. I'm just going to try to um, get it more straight than what it is. Because if I try to straighten it up completely, more than likely I would end up breaking this plant. I do want to unwrap it around my pepper plant. It, it's wrapped around my pepper plant, the one that something has been eating on. And I did not find what is eating on this pepper plant. But I'm going to remove as much of this as I can. Hope that you all are still able to see. Get this off. And then there are some suckers at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and move those off the plant. And then I'm going to take one of these stakes. That stake is holding up this tomato plant. And sometimes when you have these plants in raised beds, you cannot stake them the way that you want. Especially if you have this plastic or this uh, landscape fabric underneath. So you just have to do the best that you can and try not to... Um, I don't want to stab through my plastic or my landscape fabric because if I do, then that's going to cause more uh, problems for me as far as those weeds are concerned. Weeds would be popping up through this more than it already is. So what I'm going to do is I took one of the stakes from one of the other plants that was not uh, doing so good. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to wrap this plant around this stake, not the best stake. And I'm going to take my tape. I hope that, yeah, I got some little nipper ears that I can take a piece off. And I am going to wrap this plant around this stake. Okay, so now that plant is standing, that tomato plant is standing up. Okay guys, so that is all for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something from it. Hope that you will subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.